For thousands of years, it's been cold enough for glaciers to form here on top of the Ruwenzori Mountains in Uganda, but not for much longer. Most of the Ruwenzori glaciers have already melted. We spent a week walking up to see what's left. But there's no way we could have got here without the help of others. Like all the mountain guides, Moses Cassini is trained to haul himself and a tourist out of a deep crevasse using only an ice axe. Cutting footholds for us is easy for him. He's worried by the glaciers melting. I'm traumatized as it is getting smaller because at one end it will get off and uh, that means no more uh, tourists coming on this mountain and that means my job gonna go off. The glaciers are in the Ruwenzori Mountains National Park. Below them lies an extraordinary ecosystem home to many unique species of plants and animals. Mohindo Matovu knows the park better than most. He was a poacher here for nearly 40 years before he was hired by a trekking company to find and create new footpaths. The plants are changing and much of the glacier has melted. It only remains on the high peaks. On the lower peaks there's very little snow now. And while the park is an ecological treasure trove, it's the glaciers that attract the most visitors, nearly 2,000 a year. And that provides jobs for hundreds of people from the local communities. Marion Bamboo says working as a porter for expeditions pays much better than her previous work as a market trader. The job is really good for me because each time I do a trek in the mountains, I am able to pay school fees for my child, to buy food and other things for my family. And now, because of carbon emissions, mostly from other continents, many of the jobs here are on the line. The guides who helped us up say as the glaciers melt, more cracks and crevasses appear. They seem to know all of them. And the value of their unique skills depends on the glaciers being here. This is the Margarita Peak. It's the highest point in the Ruwenzori Mountains, and it's the third highest mountain in Africa, and it's cold and windy, and all around us, are glaciers formed in all of the cracks and the valleys between the peaks but scientists say the zero degrees line above which glaciers can form is rising and within a couple of decades the zero degrees line will be higher than this summit. That means all the snow and ice here will be gone and with it jobs. The disappearance of the Ruwenzori glaciers threatens not just the ecosystems around here but livelihoods too. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, at the Margarita Peak in Uganda.